I'm out here on this unseasonably hot uh, November day because I thought I would go ahead and do a kettlebell bed press tutorial. A few things to take into consideration. It's not just about brute strength, it's also about technique, mobility, coordination. So they're very interesting movements, they're very versatile. First thing to take into consideration is your leverages are really important in something like this. So if you're somebody like me who has a very short torso proportionally, pretty long limbs, you're probably going to have an easier time with the bent press. If you're somebody who's built a bit more, you know, longer torso, shorter legs, or just kind of in the middle, you may have to squat a little bit more uh, to get kind of a comfortable hip position. I usually keep my legs slightly, or my knees slightly flexed, uh, but nothing crazy. So the bent press is essentially three movements put together. It, it's a hinge, it's a rotation, and then obviously it's a press. Because of that, it's actually really dependent on the muscles of your torso and the muscles of your hip a lot more than it is the muscles of you know your tricep and your shoulder. So start with your kettlebell front rack. You're going to turn your feet both in one direction. You're going to kind of cock your elbow back. You want it to be like a horizontal, right? But you want your torso to stay you know, mostly upright at this point. So just think about you're shifting a lot of weight to this hip and then you're kind of having your lat pull in almost like you're doing a, a lat pull down on one side and then you're not pressing this is where i think people get confused between a side press versus a bent press you're not really pressing the weight up you're moving your body underneath the weight you're kind of catching that weight so i'm rotating and then i'm just kind of lifting at the end uh, first off, you should always go light with these movements. Do not use your lifts, your other lifts as a, good, as a reference point because they're really not going to be a good predictor. The precursor, I would say, is you need to master the kettlebell windmill first because it's a lot of the same positions, uh, just more so emphasizing the hip hinge aspect. So the kettlebell windmill, I usually just do it into a snatch. I'm right in position. So again, turning my feet, making sure I'm bracing. Shifting weight kind of towards the back a little bit. And I'm going down, 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 looking over my shoulder, reach, tap the ground, and then press back up. 